this is Matt for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Star. I'm delighted for the first time in a long while to be catching up with Lightning Lee McGregor. Lee, um, fair to say, in your own words, not the best of years for you last year, but have you had a good Christmas, good New Year, ready to crack back on straight away this year? Yeah, definitely. As you just said there, it's been a really frustrating year for me last year, only fighting once, and obviously it been that that controversial draw as well. It's, it's, it was definitely wasn't the best of years, boxing wise. But um, there was there was benefits. There was there was good things that happened in uh, 2022. I finally, obviously, spent a lot of time back home um, with a family, back and forward. Sort of just like I said, frustrating, a bit draining if I'm honest. Um, mm. Training for dates that they never never ever materialised, and just a a mentally draining year uh, considering I only fought once so I should be really wanting to start this year fresh um, which my, that is my plan of course but um, it definitely wasn't the best years and like I said mentally it affected me a bit but I feel like I'm in a good place now I'm back down here mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm ready to crack on in 2023 and sort of pick off where I left off the back end of 2021. I, um, I read somewhere in an article, um, and it's a quote, so you were sort of questioning yourself in boxing, saying, do I want to be like this, or do I just do the average job and be doing nine to five? Is that where it got to for you? You were riding like riding high when I last spoke to you. You just think, just got the British, or it's a European. Um, is that how bad things have got for you? Yeah, it just shows you what can happen in boxing. It's you be on top of the world, and then you can be at the very bottom. It's... It's a hard, hard game, it really is, and it, it tests your willpower, it really does. And mm -hmm. I have had day thoughts, of course I have, uh, but I just always have to think back to why I got in this game and why I started and, and what I have achieved. Uh, I was, like you said there, I was, when I'd won that European title, uh, 2021, defended it back end of, towards the end of 2021. I was getting spoken about as Britain's next world champion. 2022 was looking like the year I was going to become world yeah. champion. You look now, we're in 2023, I feel like just, obviously, just it's what happens in boxing, it's timing, opportunities. In another world, and a bit of luck on my side, I could should could be sitting here world champion, there's there's no doubt about it. Yeah. Unfortunately, luck has not been on my side my whole career. Uh, you look at the... Yeah. the um, preparing for the, the Karim Guffey fight, COVID, uh, the fourth time that fight finally went ahead. Again, test me, tested me then, it's testing me again, but I'll do what champions do, I'll, I'll bounce back and, and I can't wait to get cracking this year. We're going to, we should have news in the next week um, yeah. on what's happening next for me and uh, yeah, I just want to get back in the ring and get back to where I was. How, we'll look forward in a set, but how sort of, Frustrating and draining, is it when you, you obviously you're trying to put the work in and you're getting promised fight dates and then the falling through or they're not happening. Because for you to do that, you have to spend time away from your family, um, time away from you, you know your, your family, your little ones. So how how much has that sort of weighed on you? Is it, it you can tell it's taken a lot out of you? Yeah, no, of course. Obviously, it's it's frustrating. Any time at the best of times. Like, but what could make it that little bit easier, like you just said there, if I was back home and I was in my home comforts and I was with my family and I was I was just enjoying myself and just... It's not, it's not just, time, just there, no. But I've been travelling down here, back and forward. Yeah, get, don't get me wrong, I've been back home more than I have been down here last year. But I was still down here a hell of a lot last year and I still yeah. spent a hell of a lot of time away from the family, which could have been... Like you said, like it's, it's time lost. I, I could have been spending that time with my family because I don't get that much time. Like you look at the, like I just said to you there, preparing for that Guffey fight. I was down here for like six months straight. I missed a lot of my my daughter growing up. She's now she's now five. It's like sorry four. It's just it's mad how how, how time goes like that. So um, yeah, it's like I said, if I was back home and. Enjoying, enjoying myself and, and mind off of boxing, it'd be a little bit easier, but still frustrating. But the fact that I've been obviously dealing with the stress and trying to, yeah, I want to fight, I want to, uh, listen, a lot of personal things, a lot of um, things behind the scenes, just loads of things that's enough to get anyone to crack. Yeah. And I've managed to pull through, I've managed to crack through and... Life's not easy, and um, I'm sure I'm going to face many more obstacles along the way. But it's um, 
like I said, my whole life it's been challenging. I've I've lost so many people close to me. I've bounced back from that. I've had so many ups and downs in my career. I've bounced back from that. And again, this is just another part of my story. And I'm I'm sure 2023, the boxing world will be speaking about me again. I'm confident, confident in that. Absolutely, it's important they are speaking about you as well because, you, like I said, you, you you went out, you had that draw as well, and people were saying it's not the Lee yeah. McGregor from a few yeah. fights ago. It can seem like a completely different yeah. fighter. Do you realise what the reasons were and how have you spent time putting that right? Obviously, yeah. Ben's very meticulous. I've spent the whole day in his gym. It's literally like a science lab <laughs> the yeah. way he does it. And I think that's great. So he's... Um, how, how much have you sort of taken on board to get yourself back to where you need to be? Well, going back on, on that one, and, and it, it wasn't me in, like, well, it wasn't the best me in that ring, for sure. Um, again, like, like, I'm going on about last year, um, 2022, being frustrating, a lot of obstacles, so many things going on behind the scenes. But, again, it even started on the back end of 2021. I'd signed, listen, I could be here all day explaining it all, but... You look back, I signed the, um, the matchroom deal, a co-promotional deal with, with matchroom and we were signed for the Cash Farouk rematch, which was, was so massively getting spoken about, rightly so. Um, Life-changing money, exposure would have been amazing. Our profiles would have went through the roof. Uh, I was then making my matchroom debut on meant to be December 2021. I, I was in Vegas at the time preparing for that fight. Um, and whilst I was out there, my dad had been run over for, from a lorry, basically still lucky to be alive. So I had to travel home early from Vegas then. Uh, got back then, seen him trying to battle through all that, picking I had niggles as well while I was out there. Um, and then I come back and it was just simply impossible for me to go ahead with that matchroom fight on the December, which that was the start of the bad luck for me. So... If I'd probably just went ahead and maybe pushed through for that December fight, I might be sitting in a, a different position now, but I couldn't due to, like I just said there, my dad basically just about, very lucky to be here, just about died, was in a critical condition in hospital. So I went back, got back uh, to see him in hospital. I was in hospital for, for months of, without recovering. Still no back to 100% now, um, but he's, he's a lot better and he's he's lucky to be here, like, yeah. like I say, so we're just grateful that he is. And then... It was straight back, like, it's, then you'd be like, right, you need to take a rest. And But, like, I'd already, I was, I was keen, I wanted to fight, I'd been training. So we pushed, and, and I pushed through to that February fight where I did get the draw. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was great, I was a little bit burnt out. There was there was all sorts of things, like I just yeah, explained yeah. to you. That's it, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I had that fight, as you can imagine, very frustrated. But, but then I was keen and eager, I was like, I want to get back in, I want to put things right and then it was just constant in training back home and yeah you could say I hit burnout to be honest and although this has been a frustrating and being inactive in that again I've always said things happen for reasons and maybe yeah. my mindset and all that if I had went back into a fight after that Ruiz fight and another performance like that I might not be in the position I am now, so I'm just I'm grateful for everything that happens, and like I said, I'm I'm going into 2023, and I'm I'm coming back to show everyone that 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 this, that, that is the same Lee McGregor, just a bigger, better, stronger version. Yeah, in terms of luck, um, just that thing you mentioned there with your dad. I Don't mean, that's the worst luck in, that, in the world. That's um, that's enough to maybe make you question your career, which yeah. I mean, I read that you did. But moving on to this year, moving up in weight, um, looking to sort of not replicate them performances that we know from you, but looking to improve and put more of a stamp so that you leave 2023 with everyone with your name on their lips going, you know what, Lee McGregor's, he's back. Yep. Yeah, definitely. The plan is obviously, yep, I'm going to have I've vacated my belts. Um, again, it was I was only hold, trying to hold out, maybe held out too long, to be honest. Um, I was trying to hold out and, and, again, talking about luck, now that I've finally outgrown and accepted that I can't make Bantamweight anymore, all the belts are going to become available and I'm going to be basically next in line to challenge yeah. them. And I tell them, God, I've got to be honest with myself, it's, it's not going to happen, I'm not going to be able to go back down to that weight. So it's uh, the same goals, just a new weight. Obviously, 2023, the, I almost feel like I'm half starting again. I'm, I've been inactive, um, there's there's no doubt about it and I'm, I'm going to have to come back with just a, 
I, I hate using the get back in the ring fights and things like that, but as it's going to be eight ten rounder, decent name, let everybody know I'm back. And the the plan is to get three fights within eight months. Um, yeah, so activity, and I would like to see the back end of this year me involved in a big fight, whether that whether that be eliminators for a world title. Um, who knows? Like we said, boxing's anything can happen, so I'm not writing anything off, but. The aim just now is to get back in the ring yeah. and get active. Yeah, first and foremost, you need anyone. It literally needs to be, look, chuck someone in, you shake off whatever you need to, so you yeah. feel comfortable again. But then we talked about, you talked about the cash for Rupert, like everyone was like, that's going to happen, rematch, going to be big. And then obviously things happen, he's, he's, he's retired, sadly enough, that would have been an epic rematch. Yeah. But for you, what is now the big fight for you? What is, what, look at the names that you've got in that division, what, what signifies to you, you know what, might not be as been as big as that rematch, but it's one that will put me in good stead and put yeah. you back up there with the world level guys and get, you, get people talking about you again. Yeah, there's plenty of fights out there, there really is, especially domestically. Just going back, touching on that cash for fight, there's, there's never going to be a, a, a rivalry in a fight as big as that. Um, yeah. Again, in my career, it was someone special that we had. The rivalry, uh, the, the history of the first fight, everything about it, everything about it was just unbelievable. And and the, what that was generating was just, like we said, life-changing for the both of us. And it got ripped away from, from the two of us. And I'm gutted for myself and cash. Uh, Fortunately enough, I've still got my career, and like you just said there, I can still move on and try and push on and make more rivalries and have big fights. I do have to say, obviously, my, my heart goes out to Cash. No, he's not going to be able to fight again, but I've, I've heard and, and I see he's doing well and still being involved in boxing. He's happy in his life, and that's that's the main, most important thing. So we go back and uh, talking about the fights. Listen, I'm open to any fights, and I've been... I've been like that my whole career, amateur and professional. I don't back down from no challenge, so... Whoever it may be, there's obviously I, I would be open to a big fight at featherweight as well if if I got yeah. the if I got the if I got the chance if I got the call I got I got the my team um, said that, that that's what I want to do I, I would I would take it in a heartbeat and that's why I've always said that's why we do have teams because they make the final decisions they have the final say but um, super bantamweights there's there's obviously well there's there's Jason Cunningham I think Jason Cunningham and Liam Davies are um, I've just been. I think that fight's just been made. That's a that's a great fight for me. Yeah. Um, late summer, and then you got featherweights as well. Again, I'm no. I don't want to call any names out, but I'm. I believe I'm. I'm the best in Britain. Roundabout British uh, bantam. Well, bantamweight days are done. Super bantamweight featherweight. I'm. Up, I'm up there. I'm up there with them all, and I'm. I'm coming back to prove that. So we can. We could foreseeably see maybe not this next year, but early 2024 to mid to late that. You're challenging for a world title. Yeah, definitely. Like, there's no, there's no um, doubt in my mind that I only need two, three more fights to get my activity back, get rid of some rust. Of course, there's going to be ring rust, but I'm in the gym. I've, yeah, you've seen yeah, today. I've seen, yeah. I'm perfecting everything. I'm going to be back in sparring next week, and this is this is where you learn. And then just want to take it into the live on fight nights. Yeah. Get back to used to doing that, and uh, like you said there, yeah, there's there's going to be big fights. I'm I'm not far away. I just just need a bit of rust off. Just before we sign this off, have you got a message to everyone who supported you through this time? Because I knew you'd have a difficult time, didn't know to that extent. Yep. Um, you got a message to friends, family, people who've had you back, supporters, yep. people in the gym who've stuck with you. Yeah, 100%, and they all they all know who they are. Uh, I've got to also say a, a, a massive shout out to, yeah, my, my partner, she's been by my side the whole time, it's not been easy at all. My little girl, she's the one that keeps me going, makes gets me up every day and makes me come back down here and push through. Uh, I, like, Because I bought my first house um, March, April last year. So I yeah. thought, this is it. This is like, I'm changing my life now. I'm going to push on and win the world title this year and look to be buying more houses. Total opposite, just about. I'm grateful and thankful enough. I'm, I'm, still, um, I'm still in the position I am. I'm still no... Nowhere near finished. I'm I'm ready to crack on. I've got obviously loyal, good sponsors behind me, P and D scaffolding, who have been with me from day dot from the very at my amateur days. They've stuck by me, and I genuinely wouldn't be in this position without them. Not just them, obviously. Uh, I've had a couple of new ones on board over the, the last the last year or so as well. Uh, St Andrews Timber, 
Everlast have been my, yeah. my long my long sponsors as well. Um, yeah, just as a massive thank you to friends, family. They know who they are. They've they've stuck by me, and and they'll be grateful that they've done that for because because we're going to have a big a big year yeah. for sure. It's your job to now repair them. Look, Lee McGregor, yeah. appreciate you talking to us. Thanks for being so open about what you've been through. We look forward to seeing you do your thing, get back into the ring, and hopeful for a, a very busy 2023. Yes, I'll be back with the big fights this year, 100%. All right. That's good. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thanks.